Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we have the pleasure of interviewing Jean-Luc Paradis, our post-production instructor, who will be sharing with us some studio tips in post-productions. Thank you for joining us today. I'm very happy to be here. What would you give study tips to your uh, post-production students? Okay, I always tell the students, make sure you take the time to, mm -hmm. to read the stuff, but to write it down. Yeah, they'll exactly. never lose it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I think it's very good. And if you do it on the computer, you have a back up so yeah. make sure you make uh, copies <laughs> yeah exactly that's <laughs> a great a tip thank you for that um, also what do you think that the most common mistakes that the student make and if you have any advice to avoid that well first of all when they miss a class they miss a class they have to work 10 times harder to compensate it's up to you then to try to get the notes from someone yeah you have to make sure you don't miss too many if you miss two three three classes forget it you'll oh. never be able to go through Wow. Yeah, I guarantee it. And uh, what about the softwares we learn here at Travis? Uh, the, there's two software. For post-production, we use Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the main one. We use it also for digital audio. In, in the digital recording studio, it's still one of the most used uh, software, including post-synchronization. A lot of uh, musicians at home can use that, or some other will use other programs like Logic or Cubase. Mm -hmm. And in like on the sixth floor, in the courses of uh, sound design, yeah. they also teach uh, Cubase there. Thank sure. you so much for your time today, for the amazing tips that you gave us. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next video.